Okay, enemy detection. When your squad encounters an enemy while undetected, the enemy will not detect your squad immediately. The detection delay is response by the yellow line that goes from the enemy to one of your squad members. This line will gradually fill up with red and when it is completely full the squad will be detected. Why is it not letting me? Okay, there we go. the alien at. Oh, that was close. Well, that's just great. 
I'm Sergeant Harper, USCM. You? Hey, uh, Dep Deputy Administrator. You're from the Otago? Yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was... Everyone's dead. It was on one of the cargo shuttles. All right, people. We're falling back to the dropship. Hunslet, we're rolling to you. Copy. Okay, let's see. Call the elevator. From now on, the Marine squad will be controlled by a single... as a single entity. When your order squad perform a task, a Marine from the squad will automatically assign and carry it out. Okay, let's see which way do we gotta go. Cerberus protocol in effect. What the fuck is a Cerberus protocol? No clue. Just keep it moving and watch those corners. It's planetary quarantine. Nothing in, nothing out. Sounds like a real party. Should be stuff to pick up. Just not seeing anything. They said something about having stuff to pick up. You okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. Harper? We've got movement. Motion detector. Okay, motion tracker indicates the movement at 60 meters. Why? Okay, there we go.
case we do have to go out to the corridor. Manning? Where are you going? It's not safe here! It's not! Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No! You don't understand! It's here! It's here! <laughs> Light it up! Okay, Marines are trained to automatically open fire on enemies. Then when detected, Marines will open fire even when walking. When running, Marines cannot use any of their weapons. Eyes up! That thing's still out there! Take him out! Use a grenade! Marines have access to skills that help to deal with various turn. You can open the skill menu by pushing space. He's dead! Squirrely bastards, ain't they? Okay, command points are resources that can be spent in order to use skills. Command points are refilled over time until the maximum capacity is reached. You will be able to raise your maximum later by upgrading your marines. We need that elevator! Punch it! Tracker lighting up! Alright, set for suppressing fire and check your targets! Wait for my order. Steady. Steady. Daniel! Daniel, is that you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Cerberus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. <laughs> Red eyes. Stand down! Quarantine breach in progress. Deadly force authorized. Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I don't know. 
I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. I'm... Oh, no. What? This blood is... some kind of acid. Fuck. What kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. Latimer, you fit to move? I'm... not dying here. All right. Let's get off this damn station. Okay. When the Exomorph dies, there is a change in... It might explode into an acid burst, causing one damage... Any marine near. Your marines can walk and shoot at the same time, so keep moving. The opposite direction of the Xeomars are coming at you. We need Latimer Mobile ASAP. I'll break open the med kit. Each marine has their own health bar. The health, this health bar is compared to the following. Life, requ respect by life points, represented by life points. Armor is the white. Okay. Uh, the Marine's health drops to zero. They will end up either critical condition or dead. A light wound will be applied to any marine whose health drops below two points. In case of your marine has a wound to leg, which a player pairs their movement light wounds. Okay. Select the wounded marine and open. Shit! Ugh. Ah! Ruiz, you're making it worse! Hey, shh, don't be such a baby. There you go. You ain't pretty, but that ship sailed long ago. Gee, thanks. can access the skills to help them deal with various threats. Uh, you can open the screen by pushing the space bar and use the shot. They're too close! Okay, shotgun blast deals my Majority damage. Uh, stun the enemy caught in a radius. Using the shotgun blast. Assumes one command point. Aim. Those things are handy for close encounters. Okay. Str 
progress. There was stuff we were supposed to be able to pick up. <clears throat> Hell of a time for a migraine. Seriously, Sarge? What's up with you? Move! No! We're in danger! Harper, pull it together! We have to leave! Yeah, yeah, I heard you! Corporal Hunslet, get your ass down here! Hot evac! All right, all right! Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Okay, option complete. It is now time for you to use everything you've learned in order to survive. Order your means to learn suppressing fire. Shit! Reading multiple contacts! Closing fast! How many of those things are there? Too many! We have to go! More of them are coming! Hold your position, Marines! Well, don't worry, Hunslet, there's no rush. It's not like we're all gonna die! Skills, slow-mo. When you open the skills, you either activate slow-mo or pause the game. This will give you time to use a skill. Grenade launcher, shotgun, at greater ease. You can switch between slow mo and pause at any time in the game tab. Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hunslet, can you get us aboard? <laughs> no way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit? Death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. 
Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's, it's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through, in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah, you know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. <laughs> Shit, there she goes. Fuck, follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Ah, uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Hayes, you better come with me. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago's shithouse. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. Do you want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price needs to- You heard, to Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. That doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people- You find a way we can do that, then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it anyway. That'll be the end of episode two. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know in the comments. Thank you to Chris and Heather for being channel members and supporters of the channel. If you are interested in helping me maintain the channel, I do offer super thanks and memberships. So please check those out. I'd appreciate it very much. Have a great rest of your day.